Good morning. It's 810 with Mark Ed and Sergeant Sam. Would you believe the Texas survey of teenage drivers finds that Austin teenagers are the deadliest drivers among all Texas teen drivers? Sure. Would you believe that? Yeah. You know, I would for a fact. I, I, you I, would? Oh, yeah. No, no. This, this is a survey from Allstate Insurance Company covering 2002 to 2006, and it says that Austin teenagers were, in drive, uh, were involved in 202 wrecks where at least one person was killed. Mm-hmm. That is the highest per capita death rate among teenage drivers in any Texas city. We probably have the highest per capita ownership of vehicles um, for teenagers, so to speak. Parents buying their, their, their kids' cars. Liberal attitude toward the parents. Some parents smoking dope and drinking right in front of the kids, as far as that goes. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Liberal attitude is a correlation in traffic deaths. Yes. If you Prove have it. A, Prove it. Well, the proof's in the pudding. Is Austin a liberal There's city? No, oh, that's a stupid Is Austin a liberal city? heard. That entirely Answer my that question. Is Austin thing. a literal, you're liberal city? You're correlating, hold it now, you're correlating yes. traffic deaths to liberal politics. Liberal attitudes. Not necessarily politics, liberal attitudes. Oh, Sam, that is the damnedest no. thing I've ever heard. Well, keep your ears open. You may hear more. Oh, All gosh. state insurance company us, in Lord. this study on the most recent data available ranks Austin number 14 among the top 50 metropolitan areas in the country in terms yeah. of the per capita Teenage driving fatal wrecks. Mm -hmm. It says the biggest cause, no surprise here, was speeding, followed by failure to wear seat belts, booze, and drugs also involved in these wrecks. And Jacksonville, Florida is up there. Is that a liberal town? Let's go to some other towns and see if they're liberal. All I can tell you from what my knowledge is right here in town. Tampa Bay, liberal. Orlando, is that liberal? Jacksonville, here's Nashville. Is that a liberal town? Birmingham, is that a liberal town? Yeah, yeah. Birmingham's a liberal town? I'm talking about as far as what the... Give me a break. I'm talking about as far as what the parents do for their kids. They have a very liberal attitude about buying the whiners anything they want, giving them anything. Buying the whiners? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Buying the whiners anything they want. I want an iPod. I want a car. I want this. I want that. You have no proof in that. That's just your... I you're, see it every your day. Your granddad attitude there. I, Grand, granddad's been a lo- around a little longer than you and oh have boy. seen a few things you haven't, Mr. Ed. Boy, this is it. Stuart on South I-35 on KLBJ. Hi, Stuart. Good morning. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Hey, uh, what, I just want to add one thing. Uh, some of those traffic deaths uh, caused by teenagers, I think, may be a little skewed. Mm-hmm. For example, some of it I feel is truly not their fault. Regardless of the driver's age, in this instance it's teenagers, but regardless of the driver's age, we have one of the deadliest roads with, you know, 71, you know, going out towards Lakeway. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. That is a, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dispute anything that anybody says about that road. That is a nice, big, wide, well-engineered highway that people drive too fast on when it's wet. That's a dangerous road, Sam. I'm no, it's car. not. It's a danger. Then why? It's not. Then why well, have I, they taken so much I mean, measures in the last two months to try to make? Because it? you're going to have to put a physical barrier between the idiots oh, to keep them from on, running Sam. into each other. Come on, you've now, got no. innocent people driving the speed limit, doing everything right, in some Yahoo idiot, and I see them just a, weekly. Yeah. I drive 1431, the Goat Trail between Lago Vista and Marble Falls, every day. People. Pass me on blind uphill curves. Well, <laughs> now, is that, that is crazy. It, yeah. yeah, but that's a dangerous then, roadway too. That's all the curves in that thing too. It's not dangerous if you drive it appropriately. Well, Stuart, if you if you pass somebody on a blind curve, Stuart, I'm with you because the state has done try to do measures to make that more safe out on 71. Yeah, you, it is you've got to make roadway. adjustments for the fools in this world. Stuart, thanks. Have a good day. Also in transportation news, Capital Metro officials have revived a fare increase plan. What they want to do is phase in a doubling of bus tickets over the next three years. That would bring the fare to $1. And they also want to put an end to the free rides for people 65 and older and the free rides for some people with disabilities. The plan is for the seniors and folks with disabilities to pay 50% of the bus fare rate. You know, people with disabilities, bless their heart, they don't, all they have is SSI. They don't have any money. What are you thinking? Let them go free. I'm uh, let the old and folks the, and, the, and the seniors that free. are riding the bus. It's because they can't afford a car. 
That's their only means of transportation, and they're on a fixed income, which isn't squat. They barely make ends meet now. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? It's, it's, it, I tell you what, they're going to really lose a lot of public support by doing this.